All right, so this is going to be uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is a... Uh, Oh God, it's uh, interested in a uh, personal personal reading with me. Uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are interested into a, a live tarot classes, uh, you can find section of it there and sign up, uh, sign up for yours, which will be live on uh, YouTube. So uh, that being said, moving to the uh, spread straight away, <clears throat> the first card which uh, represents the topic of your week, Libra, is going to be the uh, Chariot card, the Chariot card, oh my god. Uh, then the next one which stands for the energies that are helping and supporting the situation, we have the Ace of Wands. Afterwards, it is the Seven of Wands which stands as the challenges you have to overcome for throughout the week followed by the page of cups which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week then it is the uh, impression that you are leaving into the people around that will be the two of wands and then the last one here that we have it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you that will be the queen of uh, the queen of wands so quite of an interesting reading here um it's just that this week is going to be a week where you're going to show a very strong determination uh, in terms of a, a fulcrum of yours in terms of a, some sort of an agenda or in terms of some sort of a uh, um a goal that you yet do not have or you are adopting it throughout the very start of the week itself and that is uh, well shown and displayed here in these two cards so we do have the energies of the ace of wands and those energies are energies of a pure impulse for the newness that is what i mean is that those energies are going to bring you a, a very gaining for enterprise that is to be a new enterprise but in the same in the same time does reside within the framework of your current existence so what i mean here is that this new gaining for enterprise will form in your already established relationship it will form within your already established job and career path we are not talking here about a new beginning we are talking about the beginning into the into the things into the grand thing that you are trying to develop or a new beginning or a new opportunity new chance into your already existing uh, endeavors and um, in generally things that you're trying to push through so uh, as i said that is going to be new gaining for enterprise somewhere in your life and as a new gaining for enterprise uh, it will push you or rather like mm, kind of like provoke you to think in a different way or to do different stuff stuff that you are not exactly very comfortable with because you have not practiced it practiced them and that from its own accord will also make you understand that you do have some slumber talents or you are good at certain things that you are not capitalizing or or on or you are not demand paying for that or a compensation for them that is especially true if we're talking about a career development so this whole thing leads to the situation which is the chariot and it's pretty much the situation points that you are to pretty much see results because the chariot refers to that uh, your hard work is actually uh, bringing its luck to you it, it brings the results of wish fulfillment it brings the results of triumph as well especially if the um, gaining for this gaining for enterprise does manifest in a field which most likely is going to happen or in an area in your life where the things are going down to shape nothing is working out whatsoever everything it's uh, it's uh, kind of like deteriorating to a point where you are probably kind of like feeling hopeless and bang this new thing comes around that gives you hope that gives you uh, enthusiasm as well to push forward and to to fix whatever you think it's uh, it's breaking down now with the chariot it will be tough because the chariot does refer to uh, triumph against all odds and that's why you know you have to show your determination you need to support or supplement it with your uh with your iron wheel as well meaning you do not give up no matter what 
okay and finally at the end you are to collect the 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 luck of your hard work and you are to have your wish fulfilled is that going to be happening throughout the week i don't know but throughout the week it is exceptional exceptional time where you got to show your determination how much you want that thing how much you love your wife how much you love your husband how much you count on the job that you are in right now and how devoted you are to it to uh to it as well not to mention that the chariot card also refers to personal acknowledgement meaning that you are to be uh, a appropriately respected and appropriately assessed as well from your boss from your supervisor from your partner also into relationships so uh, what my point here is that um you liberal will have the opportunity to shine throughout the week and it will be a shame if you do not get up get up from your couch and grasp gets a grip on this uh, opportunity so what will be the challenge itself here now we do have the seven of wands in seven of wands it is the challenge of um how can i say it? seizing the right moment and the right um not just only moment but also the right place to do an action or to act in regards to this opportunity here that it is this new gaining for enterprise that the energies are bringing in and are um amplifying your enthusiasm regarding uh, regarding it so uh how we can interpret this well in two ways some of you may have this how can i say it nagging nagging feeling that they have to do things straight away in a chaotic manner just for the sake of doing things around others may think that they do have a lot of time you know and that this enterprise will wait for them in a reserve if something else doesn't work out then they can resort to it no there is a specific moment and a specific not just only timing but also a a place where you have to grasp and seize it and that is a tough challenge here to really grasp the moment and to grasp the the the, the place where you are to manifest your um you know uh, you can manifest and capitalize on this uh, on this option available or on this opening that it is uh, given to you uh, in the week so not unfortunately not every single one of you is going to be able to make it uh, but the reward definitely is going to worth it so do not rush it but don't be as well kind of negligent to it as well uh, from another uh, standpoint here, the Seven of Wands also may point that it will be quite of a struggle for you to resist temptation and to uh, perform well under pressure, which is exactly what the Chariot is all about. You know, winning against all odds, meaning that you will have to perform under a pressure. Next one, it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Now, that is a person, it may not be related to the situation itself. It pretty much points that that is someone who has an emotional connection to you in one or another way. It could be your very best friend, uh, very best friend, your child. It could be as well, you know, your sister or your brother. It's someone who once again has a, a emotional connection with you and are making you feel good and it's it's the type of person that always makes you um feel like everything is going to be okay so the way i see it here with the page of cups that will be a, an, an emotional support that you are going to have for throughout the week a person who brings you solace in the moment of extreme tension and pressure where you feel that you cannot handle it anymore are moments where you want to put your head throughout the window and start screaming i just cannot take it anymore and that one is going to balance you know that kind of a severe emotional distress that you may going through that you may be going through because the chariot is pointing that you are you're going to have a lot to to do and it's going to be tough once again it's going to be very very tough so next one here shows what kind of impression you're going to make into the people around that will be the two of uh, ones so couple of impressions some people around you will see you as a ready to improve and not just only to improve but to uh conquer would say a new horizons so conquering new jobs conquering new projects conquering i uh, things that are going to just only put strain on your um on your knowledge and your capabilities for a pure reason 
because you do want to polish and you do want to improve on those capabilities and you cannot improve on capabilities if you do not challenge those capabilities this is some of the people how they are to see you other well they will see you as a person who wants way too much unfortunately that is a negative trait of the two of wands it's like it's not enough and you want everything you want it now and in this very moment it's like a demanding person but that kind of impression will be mainly from those that are not knowing you very well and they are not taking a a big role in your life you know people who are jealous so to speak that they, they, they will say to themselves you know is it not enough that he is also or she is also going even for that as well did, did, did she not had enough already or did he not have had enough already uh, good fortune that is so don't mind those poor souls they are just uh, the, these kind of people they are just unhappy with their own life and they don't want to see anybody else moving forward you know and improving because for them you are going to be an, an example and you are going to improve on this example so they will blame everybody but themselves for their miserable situation and in this case they will blame you as well because they will see you as a, someone who is very rich and it's improving on those riches and they will see themselves as very poor people that the universe deprived them from an opportunity and that's not the case it's just they are sitting on their couch hoping that things are going to solve on their own accord while you are actually doing something about it and the final card that we do have it is the guidance the tarot is offering we do have the um queen of wands here so uh, this card only tells us that you are far better than you think you are and whatever okay so if you uh, have a, a a doubt in yourself in terms of intimacy in terms of a uh, social circles you are attra more attractive than than you think you are the only thing that you may lack you know it's kind of like more fancier clothing and attire and and a better makeup and these kind of stuff because this is what the queen of wands is known about it is just um she, she as a uh, archetype it's making the wall factor into one social circles you know she just shines in front of others with uh with her presence and to boost your presence you boost your makeup you boost your attire uh try to dress for example sexier if you uh, are feeling that you're not attracting enough people and etc etc and that will make you much um not much more appealing you are appealing but it just is going to make you see that you are actually attracting more people and in terms of business this card tells you that you do have the business sense you need and uh, you should not be afraid to do a those successful business maneuvers which the ace of wands may speak about as the new enterprise that is coming in but it just is going to be uh, on a first glance that is on the first look way harder than you think you can handle but in reality you definitely can handle so that being said libra this was your weekly general tarot reading march and uh, not march excuse me april 6th to april 12th 2020 Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And if you do like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way, meaning every card to be able to link it in terms of career, in terms of relationship, its negative aspect, its positive aspect. I'm offering online tarot classes and uh, you can sign up for them in, in my uh, app excuse me, my uh, website as well in the section of eight tarot classes. Uh, so stay safe now and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.